What's going on guys? Welcome back to another session of Metal Gear Solid 1, uh, the original version, not the Twin Snakes. Uh, I forgot to point this out last time actually, that um, that is not the Twin Snakes. <laughs> um, um, uh, the Twin Snakes is actually a remake of the same game on the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, I've never played it. Um, for that fact, I've never owned a, a Nintendo system in my life. But y'all could grill me for that later. Um, point being, though, I don't hear, I never hear too many good things about the Twin Snakes version, and I can see why. I've looked up a few cutscenes in the past, and it really just seems like uh, it's like a over dramatized version of this game you know although this game has its stretches too believe me but like the twin snakes is like completely completely like um what it was the name wanted i want to say what the name was um where the movie wherever the bullets fucking curved it'll come back to me as soon as i finish the session watch but it was like completely over the top action which was just like just look just horrible it just ruined this fucking game completely it was completely it was made by silicon knights um, the same people behind uh, Eternal Darkness. Shout out to Dude Best Friends Play. I love them, Matt and Pat and Wooly. And um, the people behind also Two Human, which I actually did like that game, but that is a story for another ga- um, story for another day. And Legacy of Kane also. Um, they're shit in their pants right now. Anyway, but fuck that. That's all besides the point. Um, I, wa- I do just want to reiterate the point that this is... The original Metal Gear Solid, as you can, as you already probably fucking know. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going so much in detail, but for the PS1, I just happen to be playing it on um, the, my PS3. So here we go. I am about to load one of these, which is all both the same thing. But um, look at that. It says free nine blocks. <laughs> Remember those days? Um, let me run through things first. If you're just joining me, my name is Jay. Or I Blue Wear JGR. Uh, welcome to the Gamer for Comedy channel. In general, Gamer for Comedy probably, like I go, said before, is not like the best name to summarize what we do here, but it is a portion of it. So you know, um, stick with us. See if you like us. You know, it's me. It's my friend Rob. You know, we're cool peeps. We do good things. We do funny things. We do serious things. We do everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, today is um, today is January seventeenth, twenty thirteen. 5.07 p.m. I'm recording this right now. Thursday. Good old Thursday. Just starting to get dark outside. Not completely there yet, but we're almost there. Uh, do I want to read a mission log? Do I want to... No. No, I don't read no fucking mission log. I do that shit enough in my daily life. Kinda. Not really. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Jesus Christ, do I have to... D- it's not on analog mode again. No, no, that's not what I want to do. And it's not on full screen mode either, which is another disappointing thing. There we go. Uh, I gotta see. Can I save that by any chance? No, I can't really save. Fuck it. I just, I just gotta make sure I start doing it before I, um, before I start these things. I apologize. Okay, let me just make sure. All right. Okay. All right, we got everything. For the most part, I'm not doing too great on my ration supply, but that'll be okay. We are going to tough it out. Um, before I do start, though, I want to do a quick recap of last session. Um, I'll pause it so you don't have to keep listening to music. Um, last session, we were this guy right here. He was sent to this base um, initially to uh, retrieve two important people, um, to put it simply, and get them out, and also like. N- find out if the terrorists here, because a terrorist incident has happened, find out if the terrorists actually have the ability to launch a nuclear strike, because that's what they are threatening the United States with as of right now. So we get here, we talk to the two people that we're supposed to save, they both mysteriously die of heart attacks, which we suspect something's up with that, and we find out more about the, the nuclear weapon that supposedly the AR building is called Metal Gear Rex, this is big fucking fuck everything up robot type machine thingy shit fucks things up that's all you need to know and we gotta stop that so the last person that we talked to was name was kenneth baker which is the president of like some army some um weapons manufacturer company he tells us we gotta go and find uh the dude the main dude behind creating metal gear which his name is hal emmerich dr hal emmerich and he's gonna tell us how to fuck this thing up so that is what we're gonna do right now. As soon as these people stop talking in my ear, you absolutely must not that I can see their face for some reason. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Ain't that some bullshit? Have you forgotten? 
That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited Trailing. budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Who the fuck is Nastasha? All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. I don't use it anyway. I don't think I have a choice. Nope. They still give me my chaff at the very least, but I don't have a choice to use any of my weapons. And let me just go... Oh! You know, that's really funny. Um, I never went into, like, one of the main, um, the main things about the Metal Gear universe is the fucking cardboard box. Um, the cardboard box is, if, if you, I don't know, if, if you know, if you don't know anything about Metal Gear and you saw a cardboard box associated with it, this is it. This is it right here. Um, you pick up a cardboard box and you hide under it and it, it's like an oh shit button move where you can hide under a box and enemies won't necessarily be able to um they won't see you they'll come up to the box and they'll be like huh sometimes they'll look under it sometimes they will sometimes they won't but sometimes yeah like i said sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i just haven't used it yet as you can see last session i don't really like it too much oh and i think we're gonna get it we're gonna get a test right now of how the shit works i don't like it too much because my experiences with it have been pretty shitty just a box yeah see so that, yeah, like I said, that's like an oh shit move, like oh god, and just get in the box real quick and you'll be fine. But it doesn't work, depending on the box, like as you can see it says cardboard box A. Um, depending on the box and depending on the area, the enemies probably would know, I believe in this game, I'm not too sure, don't quote me on that. They'll probably know like, oh what the fuck, this box doesn't belong here, they'll look under it and then you're fucked. So either way, that is the cardboard box. I can't believe I did not go into that before, but uh, we gotta get to those stairs over there to formally really begin on Let's Play. Shit! Oh, put the box on! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh shit, talk about oh shit buttons. Oh god, thank you. Please, okay, walk away. Sometimes they'll even like look at it even more and just be like, huh. And they'll, and they'll just stare at it for a second before they <laughs> completely look under it. Oh god. Alright, that's the that's second. I almost got caught there. Why am I on the floor? Sorry, I didn't see that fucking brightness. Alright, here we go. Almost there. Oh shit, there's a guy over there. Okay. I can't use my weapon, so I don't even know how I'm going to get rid of this dude. Because I'm, like, petrified to go up and choke people now because this shit... Let me not just walk up right behind him like that. Maybe I could just get away. Simply get away. No, can I? Can I? Oh, shit! I did it! Fuck you! <laughs> Are you going to drop something? No. Oh my god, because if you fuck up the choke, like if you get too close, I don't know, they just fucking automatically detect you and everybody automatically knows where the fuck you are, and I just, I don't like that. I don't remember having that problem when I was playing through this game when I was um, younger, but apparently this shit just gets me all types of fucked up now. What we got here? It's level 5, I don't have that. Oh. Oh, check you out, buddy. Oh, you think you just gonna shit? I mean, you gonna take a piss right here? Is that what you think you're gonna do? You just took your last one. <laughs> ah, oh, he dropped the ration, also. Ah, don't judge me. I'm not cruel. Is there anybody in here? Yeah, there's somebody in here. I'm not gonna kill him if I don't have to. Oh, can't get into any of these. Jeez, can I get in any? Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. I knew this. I should have just killed him. I should have just killed him. I should have just killed him. Alright, whatever. Whatever. 
Ugh. I just fuck it. I'm fucking. I'm so scared to choke people. Like that's not. Oh, whatever. And I lost the ration. I'm gonna hope he gives me the fucking ration again. You gonna give me a ration again? Give me the fucking ration again. Give me the ration. And he doesn't give me the goddamn ration. And you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Fuck you. Asshole. You gonna give me a ration? No, he's not gonna give me a ration either. I don't like to murder people. Alright? But I'll do it if I have to. I'm getting caught for no reason now. You guys are like, what the fuck are you doing? Fucking play serious, why don't you? This is embarrassing. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment to the Metal Gear Solid fan community. That's what you are. What am I talking about? I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Why don't this elevator come down? I need to calm down. I'm having a... I'm not having a rough day. You would think I'm having a rough day, but I'm really not. I'm having an interesting day. I'm just really excited for some reason. I don't know why. You know, partially because of that and partially because of the fact that, uh... Hey! That's the man we need, actually! And he's not gonna pay no type of attention to me, either. Come on, dude. Alright, well, th anyway, that's the doctor we have to talk to. I like how they do that a few times. And then... Okay. Wait a minute, did I get... Yes, I did get the thing for this part. I'm fucking mad. I keep failing on the camera for no reason. So once you get caught in this game, it's like fucking, you might as well just die. Ah, excuse me. Ah, clean canteen, insulated water bottles. One of the best purchases I've ever made. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Oh. Well, thank you for the tip. Where is our remote controlled missile? Luckily, it's the Nikita missile that we just picked up a few seconds ago. <laughs> and here's what I'm talking about. Like, um, like, the I love Solid Snake and everything, but the shit that he does. Like, being able to keep this fucking rocket somewhere on him. <laughs> it's fucking great. PS1 days at its, um, at its finest. Or old school gaming at its finest. Don't shoot down my Don't do shoot. Come on. There we go. High five. Oh, God. Do not. You figured they would shoot it down. Or whoever's supposed to be watching this, you figured they would do something. What the fuck? There we go. Now the floor is no longer electrified. Alright. Um. So fuck that. So those cameras have fucking guns on them, so I'm gonna need these chaffs, if anything. Anything here? Ooh, Russian. How many I got now? Two. Sweet. I like stockpiling up on life. Alright. What's in here? I don't know what's in there. But we gonna find out. Oh, okay, it's a gas mask. Great. So that means we can stay here, out here longer. The annoying part is the, we have to keep switching to the fucking car key, but that is awesome. Alright. Awesome. Okay. Get to explore this room a little bit more. The one over there. Oh, God. Did I just fuck up? Oh, I thought that shit wasn't gonna explode. Nothing. Oh shit, I can go in there. Oof! And there's another one looking right at me. Damn it, I don't like throwing so much chaff. I like chaff. Chaff becomes really important later on in the game, you'll see. <laughs> and there is a chance that you could be under-equipped. Oh cool, they just gave me some more chaff. I gotta throw another one. So I get the fuck out of here. There we go. All right, we're good. I thought there was an item over there. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and get my breath. 
Oof, okay. Alright. I like chaff grenades. Chaff grenades are fucking awesome. I wish I had chaff grenades in real life. And this is where we gotta go now. Uh, because that's where the doctor is. They did that whole, like, um, po not poisoning, but like filling up the room with gas and everything to stop anybody from getting to the doctor. I think they locked them up in there. Yeah, because the terrorists were there. Oh. Oh shit, what the fuck happened? Oh! Oh god! Murder! Murder, Usher! Damn! like they were cut by some type of blade. Uh. Damn. It's, it's a ghost. Man, this shit's pretty brutal. I think I remember this this actually part scared freaking me out when I was a kid, especially this music right now, and this is pretty fucking brutal. Look at that shit. This guy's got his sword straight up. 